What's going on you guys? Zaid here on ZSPN and I want to give you all my thoughts and my opinions as it concerns uh, the Lakers versus the Kings last night. Uh, I would have done a video last night but somehow I, I didn't want to do it because I was just disappointed in the game to the point that I didn't want to make a video. But today I feel fine but uh, other than uh, the Lakers losing the uh, against the Kings which by the way I really thought they could have beaten the Kings with their record and um, I don't know it was just a th it was just a game that they should have won I mean I sort of compared the Kings to the Chicago Bulls uh, this season I mean not sh uh, not their season but somehow uh, the Kings uh, came up with the win uh, 113 to 103 102 uh, I'll put the uh, the, sc the scores on the on this video but um, let's talk about the Lakers' performances tonight. Uh, I mean, yesterday, and um, give me your. I will give you give you my thoughts and my opinions about uh, their performances. Uh, let's talk about Brook Lopez, okay? Which was the main reason that the Lakers lost. Okay, let's just put it out there. I mean, only scoring four points. And I believe he didn't have no rebounds. Or maybe he had one. I'm not sure. I'll put his stats on here. Only playing in 17 minutes of the game. I mean, come on. Where is the passion, man? Where is... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe because it's the Thanksgiving uh, fever. You know, he just wants to go home and just be with his family. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But at the same time... I mean, you had a, you have a game to perform. I mean, it was against the Kings for crying out loud. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because uh, he also scored four points uh, against Chicago. I mean, I'm not sure what's going on with the guy. Uh, you're an all-star, former all-star, and a dominant center, okay, in this league. Okay, you are basically ranked top 10 top 20 centers of this league okay why you didn't show up what what's going on man i mean i don't want to go on a huge rant on this video about brooke lopez okay but somehow he was the main reason that we didn't win i mean maybe there were some key players that didn't show up either but i think he was the main factor this is my personal opinion uh, let's talk about KCP, who stepped up his game for these past couple of games, uh, scoring 20 points per game. Um, I'll put his stats on here. The guy has been showing up lately, um, and I should really expect him to do that for the rest of the season. I mean, the guy has showed up big time um, against uh, the Kings. Uh, just a great performance out of uh, KCP. I mean... What is there to explain? I mean, great shooting ability, defensive ability, he showed up as well. Uh, I believe he had eight to nine rebounds, something like that. Uh, I'll put his stats on here anyway. Um, just great performance out of KCP. Uh, Brandon Ingram only having 12 points, but let's talk about Brandon Ingram's performance uh, last night. Um, Sure, he only scored 12 points, but personally for me, guys, I saw some great aggressiveness in in uh, in tonight in, against the Kings. Uh, same as I mean, maybe not the same as Chicago, but um, against Chicago. But uh, I'm not sure. It really showed that uh, he wanted this win as well. But um, I think he had six rebounds and six assists, something like that. Uh, and it really showed that he really wanted to win the game, but um, great aggressiveness from him. Lately, guys, you know what? He's just been exploding, uh, you know, on the on the floor lately, and um, you can really tell that he's really showing his real ability out there, uh, and I really can't wait for more out of him during the season goes down and uh, uh, possibly what he shows uh, in the near future. So, great job out of uh, Brandon Ingram. Uh, Lonzo Ball. Let's talk about Lonzo. Um, as you all know, guys, he was going against um, um, De'Aaron Fox. 
uh, once again, De'Aaron Fox, personally for me, really won the battle against uh, Lonzo. Um, only having, uh, as it concerns Lonzo, he only had, uh, I believe, a double double tonight. Uh, he last night, and he had um, eleven points. I think he had six rebounds and eleven assists. So, um, just uh, it was an all right performance. But personally, for me, guys, I think it's time for Lonzo to change his uh, shooting his, his uh, shooting form. Uh, I think it's just about time. Maybe he needs to talk to Luke Walton. Maybe he needs to. I don't know, go to the gym for these next, I believe the Lakers have, uh, including Thanksgiving, I think he has, they have a, a four game off, um, and uh, which uh, they play on Monday against the Clippers. So if somehow the Lonzo changes his shooting form, maybe he just goes to the gym and just, I don't know, becomes a gym rat for these next, uh, next days offs. Uh, maybe he'll improve from his uh, shooting shot because you know guys it's it, I, I don't think it's working for him I I think, think he should really change his sh uh, shooting form and uh, I don't know just shoot more these next couple of weeks so it was okay performance it was not anything great nothing to rave about he had a double double great great for him but somehow he just needs to uh, change his uh performance and his uh shooting form um who else kyle kuzma kyle kuzma also showing up uh last night against the kings um only having 17 points uh i'll put his stats on here uh guys he's just unbelievable player okay if like i said in my couple of videos ago and, and i I might be annoying myself by saying this, but you know what? It is the truth. Uh, he's showing some great performances out there that, you know what, he will get the first rookie uh, all-team. And uh, if somehow he continues to perform this sort of performance, maybe, maybe he will get the rookie of the year. I mean, he's the candidate for it. And uh, I know Ben Simmons is leading right now, but somehow um, uh, Kyle Kuzma is like the closest thing. Um, to get the uh, rookie of the year, but if somehow if Lonzo uh, improves somehow, maybe he will be part of the candidate because I'm not sure he is. Maybe he's like the third, maybe fourth place for the rookie of the year because lately he's not been performing what we expect him to. So great job from Kyle Kuzma. Uh, he really showed up out there, and um, can't wait. Can't wait for more. Let's talk about the bench real fast. Uh, uh, Jordan Clarkson also coming out there and uh, performing for us, uh, having 15 points. Um, just a great performance out of him. Um, I can't really, you know, hate on his performance. Um, I believe he went back to back with his uh, three point shots. So you can tell that he's a great shooter from the three point line. Um, and you know what, guys? He's just. A great he's gonna be part of the candidate for the six man of the year so uh he's really fighting hard out there and you, you can really tell that he really wants it he really wants that six man of the year award uh great job from uh brandon uh sorry uh jordan clarkson so uh julius randall also stepping up his game tonight i believe he only had 14 points and nine rebounds something like that um Guys, lately, for these last couple of games, he's been stepping up his game, averaging almost 15 to 20 points per game. Um, the guy has really taken his role from the bench and, you know, just showing out there that, you know what, uh, I'm a, personally for me, I'm not sure if he's doing this maybe <clears throat> to um, prove the Lakers organization to uh, consider him as the future part of the uh, Lakers Possibly, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe he's just uh, playing hard right now to prove that, you know what, I want to play somewhere else for a starting role. But somehow, guys, uh, it, you know what, he's just been stepping up his game. Great job from uh, Julius Randle. Uh, hope to more out of him. So um, other than um, the bench, 
I'm not sure. Corey Brewer coming out there with six points. Uh, he had that amazing assist from an alley up to uh, uh, Lonzo Ball out there. So um, it, it was a it was a great assist uh, from uh, Corey Brewer. But um, I'm not sure, guys. Uh, the bench should have tried harder, maybe. But I know the main factor of the game that the Lakers didn't win it because of Rick Lopez. I mean, only having four points. I mean, I could just make one video just ranting about his um, his performances these last uh, for these last uh, two games, the Kings and the Chicago game. But um, other than that, guys, I just think that the Lakers should have won this game against the Kings uh, somehow because you know what they came back in the fourth quarter. I believe they had. 30, 34 to 35 points uh, against the uh, against the Kings in the fourth quarter. So uh, I'm not sure if they just played a little harder in the third quarter. Possibly, maybe they could have won the game. I mean, I just really thought they could have won the game tonight, uh, last night against the Kings. I mean, it was the sort of win that they should have won for the Laker fans out there for a Thanksgiving gift. I'm not sure, but somehow, guys. Um, that was the performance for, in my opinion, of the Lakers, uh, what I saw. If you guys thought some other uh, performance that you thought that was okay, it was not great, uh, please make sure to comment down below. Give me your thoughts and your opinions about the game last night against the Kings. Um, please just give me a thought. I really appreciate your thoughts in the comment section down below about your thoughts and your opinions about uh, the Lakers' um, performances. Um during the these last couple of games so i really appreciate it guys make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel share my videos all over facebook twitter all that good stuff and uh make sure to subscribe to the channel and share my videos all over facebook and all that um and i wish everyone a happy uh thanksgiving to all your families and um and i'll see you all in the next video i believe the lakers have a four game uh four games off uh and uh they're gonna play on monday against the clippers we can see what that matchup is gonna be with uh patrick Beverly being uh i believe out indefinitely so i'm not sure maybe uh, lonzo will have an easy game against the clippers we just have to see um i really appreciate every single one of you guys like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching Go Lakers. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace.